I just recorded this um, look for you today. It's a beautiful emerald green kind of look. Um, the reason I've done it is because I'm going to IMATS on Saturday 29th of January and I just need a look um, to wear. So I've been playing around with makeup and I've come across this. I've kind of done these teardrop sparkly things going on in my eyes as well. Um, you don't have to do that if you're going to copy this look. And I've just teamed it with some purple earrings um, and a, a, a beautiful blue ring. Well, it's kind of a turquoise, it's not quite blue, but it goes. And the reason I'm talking really fast is because I'm going to run out of space on my back, on, uh, on my camera battery. So um, I'm just going to get started. <laughs> I haven't darkened my eyebrows yet, and that's because I like to do my foundation. But first, I'm going with Horseradish NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Applying that close to my lash line and on the lid, the whole lid. I don't want to get it in the crease at all. And this is such a soft pencil that I don't feel like I need to smooth it out afterwards. A nice dollop on there. And then take this down towards your tear duct. And then under there as well. But in a very nice and clean way. Using this pigment from um, NYX, it's called Green and it's number 38, it's a chrome eyeshadow. And pat that on the inner corners of the eyelid only. This pencil is so sticky that this eyeshadow just grabs onto it and it doesn't move. This eyeshadow I've had on now for about three hours. Um, I was just playing with the eyeshadow colours while the kids were eating and then um, I decided just to leave it and do the other eye once I'd gone to bed so I could do the tutorial for you um, in peace. And you can see that it hasn't creased I haven't touched it, I haven't buffed it up just before um, coming on camera and it, it hasn't creased anywhere, it's just stayed as is. I'm really packing on this colour. Up to about here is fine. Which is the middle of the eyeball where the iris would fall if I look straight ahead. I'm just going to take this bit slightly over actually just to give it a nice kind of fade afterwards just at the top and I'm using dark diversion fluid line and that same brush but I'm going to clean it off make sure there's no green on it so I'm taking a very small amount and I want to create a little bit of stain in the V here and into the crease too I don't want to go over any of the green so just work that backwards and forwards this color is like a lovely blackened burgundy almost If you've got too much on your brush, just clean it off and then just keep blending that until it softens right out. Okay, so I went really crazy with this line, so I'm just going to work it um, with my finger and just gently buff it in. And that's done the trick nicely. I just want the edges buffed in more than anything. I just want a little stain to go with here, and that's fine. Take a little bit more of that colour, but this time, now that I've created a little stain, I'm just going to go back over, keeping close to the crease, and just start building the colour up. I'm 
just by blending up your fingers you can see now where the fade is and where this colour is building up on top of it. Take an angled liner with that um, deep diversion and then just go again over that colour. And just work it. into this area here. It took me a long time to get that out. Next I'm going to do a cut crease. Still using that eyeliner. I want a hint of a cut crease here but I want it a bit more prominent as I get past the middle part but I'm just going to work it a little bit so it's not too obvious just taking the brush I was using before and just going to gently soften that line Just applying that dark diversion under here as well and just really pulling it out. Next I'm using Emerald City, that's a NYX eyeshadow, uh, eyeliner pencil and I'm just going on the outer uh, corner of the eye. And just filling in, but I'm not going to go to where I stopped here. I'm just going to leave a little area here. I'm not going to disturb my cut crease. That's fine. Then to that I'm adding number 384 eyeshadow by Inglot. I'm going to pack the colour on top. I'm cleaning my brushes off on a baby wipe and a wet baby wipe so I'm getting a little bit of grab from that as well which is quite cool. I'm going to dip that into my favourite um, Inglot eyeshadow number 35 which is a beautiful, when you finish this off it should be at an angle so it shouldn't be just straight towards your eye, it kind of should come in at an angle. Four four six, which is that beautiful deep purple. I'm just going to go into this ever so slightly just to deepen it. And that's my next door neighbour. Beautiful. Not my neighbour, the eyeshadow. <laughs> She's pretty too. I'm going to take that whatever's left on that eyeshadow and just apply that here to the outer corner. I forgot to record like a moron that I am. Um, what I'm using is um, this fleshy coloured here. Uh, it's a nude colour in um, a slightly pink tone, but it's uh, a fleshy pink colour. It's not available anymore. It's called Mink Pink, and it's from the uh, Max Spring colour collection. And then I've applied that all the way under here and under the brow bone. And then just in this area here only, I've tapped in Vanilla by MAC. I'm 
I'm going to line just under here with matte cold power pencil and feline. Stab myself while I'm at it. Before I go in and line the bottom and do all of that, what I want to use is Ivy by MAC, which is um, a fluid line. And I'm just going to do a really thick line right the way across this lash line, upper lash line. The reason I want it thick is because I'm going to add another one on top. I'm going to press that in here as well. And then I'm going to take this thickly under as well on this lash, lower lash line. But while I'm adding it, I want to kind of rub backwards and forwards so I kind of smooth it out as well at the same time. I'm only going up to here, I don't want to disturb the liner that I put that down. Next I'm going to use Dark Diversion to line the eyes properly and I'm going to use a very thin brush to do that and stay very close to the lashes. And as I get to this corner I kind of want to bring it down so you know when you smile and you get this little area here when you squint you kind of get this little area here I want to kind of fill that in. But obviously don't do it squinting. As you'll get creases and areas you've missed. And then connect it this way. So you create kind of cat eye. And if you're not confident doing this, don't load your brush out. Just do it with trace lines to start off with. and. As you've got the shape you want, you're kind of just drawing almost. You can start to fill in with much stronger colour. And take that thin line up to here and under. And then go ahead and finish off with your coal power. A little bit of this glitter just here. Just use a clean brush. Mine is not clean, I might add. Just to. Uh... So, I wasn't happy with my teardrop um, and I did it again and I've done it thicker. So, I'm just going to make the other one thicker. Okay, so I'm going to finish off with Volume Million Lashes. Of course, by all means, wear your false lashes if you want to. I'm just too lazy to waste lashes. Um, when I'm just going to wash this straight off in an hour. For my lips I'm using Purple Rain by NYX and this is a lip liner. And then to finish off I'm using Style Curve by MAC, it's from the new collection and ever since I got this it's been in my handbag, I've been wearing it every day. You can wear this really sheer or layer it for more colour. I've dotted that off and I'm applying um, my clear gloss. This is slightly uh, corally shade but any will do, I don't have a pink shade. Just darken my eyebrows using the Inglot Brow Palette, that's a dark brown. I just. Uh, gone in and applied that there. I have a few seconds left so let me know what you think of this whether I should wear this to eye mats or not. And the look is done. I hope you like it. Please rate, subscribe and comment and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!